What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna check out an add-on for Blender that allows you to quickly and easily add streets and simulate traffic inside of the program. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so next street, we've talked about on the channel before, but they just released their version three. And along with that comes a lot of advanced new features. So I will link to this in the notes down below if you wanna check it out. But basically this is a tool for simulating streets and roads and generating all of those different things automatically inside of Blender. So um, it says down here, it's kind of an urban environments thing. That's that's kind of close because it does add more things in here than just roads. It also allows you to simulate the lights, other things like that. But what I wanted to do is take a look at how we can use this in order to quickly generate roads inside of Blender. So let's jump over into Blender. All right, and so this tool installs like an asset, meaning you need to go into edit preferences. And so you wanna make sure that you've installed and enabled next street. And so once you do that, what you can do is you can tap the N letter key on your keyboard in order to pop out a next street window. And there's an option here for add street. And so when you first click on this, what this is going to do is this is going to drop a street in your scene. And so you can see how this is basically just kind of your like generic street in here. But let's take a look at the way that this works. So what this is doing is this is basically dropping this street in here. But if you select it, you can go into edit mode, right? So I'm gonna select this and hit tab. Notice how right down the middle of this, there's a curve. And if you tap the one key or you go into vertex select mode, you can see the vertices of the road that are in here. So see how I can select that? And notice how if I move this around, what this is gonna do is this is gonna move my road around like this. So you can use this in order to set kind of where your road is, other things like that. Now, the first thing that I wanna get into in this, um, because it's super cool, is this has the ability, if you extrude a vertex, notice what that's going to do, is that's going to extend your road. Right? So notice how it extends this road in kind of this curved direction. And I could take this vertex and move it around if I wanted to adjust the curve. Now, where this new version is super powerful, and I don't think the older version had this before, um, but where this is really powerful is if I take this vertex and extrude it again in this direction, notice how this is actually creating an intersection. And this is a question that I've gotten a lot in the past is how do you create intersections with tools like this? And usually there hasn't really been a very good answer. But in this case, this is actually coming in here and creating that intersection. Now, one of the cool things about this is if I was to, I'm gonna drag this out a little bit just so you can read what these say, but if I was to select this and go into like the street profile, there's an option in here to change the intersection offset. And so what that does is that gives me the ability to adjust the offset from this vertex point right here. So if you don't want this to be super huge like this, you can bring this offset down to something like this but it's super cool that you can now create intersections in here. Notice how it's even adding stoplights in here at this intersection. All right, and so one of the cool things about this tool is it gives you the ability, and I'm gonna select this road and tab into edit mode right here. It gives you the ability to set different profiles. All right, and so I'm just going to click in here and I'm gonna select one of these and notice what this does is this brings in assets based on whichever one of these I select. Note, by the way, these trees will render out fine in cycles. Um, they're just not showing you the transparency in the image right here, but they render out fine when you jump over into cycles. But notice what this does is this gives you the ability to set different things along your road. So you can set things like um, and let's go to this one right here just because you can see it a little bit better. All right, and so we've got this in here. Well, notice how if I come in here and I select this edge, um, it's going to allow me to set, notice how it tells me I have active sidewalks in here, but inside of that sidewalk profile, I can then click the drop down and adjust things like the benches that are in here and the bench spacing. So notice how I can set that bench spacing wider or narrower based on whatever I want to do in here. I could do the same thing with like the garbage cans, right? So if I wanted to swap these out, I could click on the drop down and it's got these in here. And then you could set like a larger or smaller spacing along this road. So you can use this in order to customize your spacing of your objects in here. And again, remember that you've got the option in here to select things and add trees or adjust signs or other things like that, which really give you the ability to kind of customize these roads. Now, um, you can also just set this to be like a guardrail in here. And then you can also set 
things like the spacing of your lights in here. So if I take my, my lights in here, I can adjust things like the spacing, but also the power of the light that's being generated. So if we were to toggle over into like cycles, you can see how these lights are actually casting light in here. And you could also adjust things like the color. And notice how the color of the light is going to change in here. And so another one of the cool things that's in here is if you click on the street profile, right? And so if you're in edit mode and you go over into your street profile, you can adjust the width of your streets. And notice how you can do this based on individual profiles in here. So this one, for example, I could set to four cars as well, but you could either select all of the edges in here and adjust these or adjust individual road profiles in here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna to toggle this back to more of a sidewalk profile in here like this, um, but you've also got options in here for adjusting your texturing, right? So if I jump into my texturing, notice how I've got the ability, well, first off, if you go into your sidewalks, right, there's options in here to adjust like the material that's applied for the sidewalks over things like that. So notice how this is coming in here and adjusting that, but you've also got a texturing option over here that's gonna allow you to do things like simulating wet pavement. So if I bring this in here and we're going to kind of adjust this up, notice how I can actually bring this in here where it's actually gonna simulate the pavement being wet. You could also set this if we wanted some snow in here, we're gonna set this spread to a little bit higher, but notice how you can use this to simulate snow on your roads as well. So um, you can come in here and you can adjust the textures of your roads depending on the kind of scene that you're trying to create. All right, so two other tools that got added in this version that are really cool. The first is the camera optimization. So if you select your road and then you go into the tab for optimization, there's an option in here for camera culling. And so what that's going to do is notice how I've got a camera in here right now. If you turn that culling on, notice what it's gonna do is it's gonna hide any of the assets that aren't currently being looked at by your camera. So notice how these are kind of like automatically hiding in here as I rotate this, but then they're coming back. So you can use this in order to drastically increase the performance and the amount of stuff that Blender has to like render as you're working on your animations in here. All right, and then there, the other cool thing um, that they added in this version is if you click on your street and then go over to your simulation, there's actually an option in here to do a car simulation. And so what this is going to do, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the play button just so you can see this. And so we're going to click on the play button um, and notice what this is going to do. And it takes a second to bring these in here, but it's actually going to bring some cars in and it's actually going to simulate their movement. And so notice what this is doing is this is coming in here and this is actually simulating cars. And so these cars are actually going to come in here and they're going to be simulated traveling along the road. So notice how like up at the top here, you've got some cars that are actually going to either turn and follow along the road or go straight. So you can use this to actually simulate like traffic movement in real life as well. Now I'm not I haven't played around with this one too much. I'm not seeing a ton of fine control over what the cars are going to do. You can definitely adjust the seed in here if you want to do that. And that's going to adjust the way that the cars are going to act, but you can use this in order to simulate those locations. And even if, and I'm going to pause this for a second, let's, um, let's take this whole street profile and let's make it more complicated, right? So let's add it. So we have like multiple cars in here. Um, we'll go super wide on this. And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna reset the simulation, but it's still gonna come in here and it's going to add those cars. And again, you can kind of adjust um, the seed, the density of cars, other things like that. And if you wanna isolate that simulation, you can click on the button right here where this is actually going to isolate what this is going to do. And so notice how these cars are actually coming in here and stopping at the stoplight and they're trying to avoid each other other things like that. All right, so as a road generator and traffic simulation tool, I actually really like what they've done in this new version of Next Street um, between the camera culling, the multiple different lanes and the intersections. I think this is a really interesting tool for creating roads and things like that. But love to hear from you in the comments down below. What do you think about Next Street? As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.